This lecture will describe the classic ECG findings that are associated with an inferior ST elevation myocardial infarction. An acute inferior STEMI characteristically results in ST elevation in the inferior leads and reciprocal ST depression in the frontal and sometimes lateral procordial leads. With an inferior STEMI, elevation of the ST segment by 0.1 millivolts or greater occurs in two contiguous inferior leads, including leads 2, 3, and AVF. Pathologic Q waves may also be present in these same inferior leads. If present, the Q waves are usually minimally abnormal in the first 24 hours. Reciprocal changes can involve ST segment depression in the frontal leads, 1 and AVL, and sometimes the lateral procordial leads too, V5 and V6. Depression of the ST segment in leads V1 to V4, however, can indicate concomitant right ventricular infarction. Analysis of right precordial leads is recommended in patients with an inferior wall infarction because of the common co-involvement of the right ventricle. So to quickly recap, the main ECG findings that can occur with an isolated acute inferior MI include ST elevation in leads 2, 3, and AVF, and reciprocal ST depression in leads 1 and AVL, and sometimes V5 and V6 too. And remember to consider the analysis of right precordial leads because of the common co-involvement of the right ventricle.